is the 19th First Alert Focus. I'm meteorologist Andy Chilean. The all important solar eclipse coming up and we're still looking at some cloud coverage in the forecast, but it's really the types of clouds that we got to watch out for because that's what can impact our viewing. So I'm going to talk about some different cloud types here. First of all, we have these high clouds. These can be as high as 40,000 feet, so even a little bit higher than cruising altitude. If you're in an airplane, we've got cirrus clouds and those would be fine for viewing. Those are those wispy clouds that you see out there. Sun can easily filter through them. Now we have zero cumulus clouds. They get a little bit thicker, but for the most part, you can still see the sun through it. It just may be more of a hazier appearance, and that would be the same with zero stratus. That makes the sky look a bit milkier or whiter, but the sun is still able to filter through those types of clouds. So if we see these clouds in the sky and just these clouds, viewing wouldn't be too bad. Now we get to more of the mid-level of clouds. Those can be around, oh, 25,000 feet or so. Those are the alto clouds. So we've got alto cumulus cumulus and alto stratus. For the most part, sun can still try to filter through those types of clouds, but it may be a little bit more difficult, maybe a bit more opaque out there. And finally, we've got your lower clouds. These can be even below at or below 7000 feet. What we don't want to see in the sky are stratocumulus clouds. Those are going to be some of those thicker clouds that scatter out a bit. The sun can peek through, but if they move over, it's going to be a pretty opaque appearance. Stratus would be the worst thing. That's that white gray blanket of clouds that you see. You wouldn't be able to see the sun through that at all. Cumulus clouds, those are those normally friendly cotton candy, puffy white clouds. May not be so bad on any normal day, but if one moves in front of the sun at the very wrong time, it's opaque. You wouldn't be able to see anything happening there. So that's all about timing. If you get a cumulus cloud moving in the wrong spot at the wrong time, that could impact your view of the eclipse. And finally, a couple cloud types we're fortunately not expected to see, but would really be bad for viewing. Nimbo stratus. These are deep clouds. They're gray. Rain comes from them. And finally, the cumulonimbus clouds, the towering thunderstorm clouds. We're not looking at that. But either way, what we want to see are just some high thin clouds. But what we may end up seeing are some of those scattered low clouds that could affect the eclipse. So now you know some different cloud types. Maybe throw out a couple of these fun names. But overall, this is how it may impact our viewing of this total solar eclipse across Northeast Ohio. All right, good info, Andy. Thanks a lot. So food, drinks, live entertainment. Of course, the eclipse. We're going to have it all at our Lights Out in the Land watch party in Avon. You can scan the QR code on your screen to get tickets. We have teamed up with the Lake Erie Crushers for this watch party out at the stadium. Gates open at 1130 a.m. Monday morning.